Major funding for Backyard Safari is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. Paper, paper everywhere. <laughs> I'm surrounded by it. And you're surrounded by it too. By hundreds of things made of paper. Like... My notebook made of paper. Hey, maybe I'll make a list of everything I see today that's made of paper. Starting with this. Hey, the last page is full. Can't make a list if I don't have paper to write on. Mm, looks like it's time for a new notebook. Now, if I turn this paper window into a paper door, there we go. Now we can go get a new notebook. You want to know more? Well, what are you waiting for? Now's the perfect time. Come on in. The water's fine. Backyard Safari. Look too hard. It's right here in your own backyard. Backyard Safari. Backyard Safari. Backyard Safari. <laughs> Paper. 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 <laughs> All this paper everywhere, and no notebook. Maybe Crinkle Root has an extra notebook. Hello? Hello? Sounds like somebody's in the portable bathroom. Anybody out there? <laughs> Bud, is is that you? Thank goodness, Celia, it's you. <laughs> what are you doing in there? An experiment? Uh, no, no, not really. I've uh, got a small problem. Oh, well, are you locked in? Maybe I could open the door. No, no I'm, not, I'm not locked in. I, uh, I need some paper. Paper? Oh, well, what, what kind? I mean, there are so many different kinds of paper to choose from. Cinema Natural presents The Paper Family Reunion, narrated by a couple of cut-ups. Hey, that's Uncle Newspaper. Oh, he's always full of the latest news. Uh, that's because he's so well read. <laughs> and there's Auntie Paper Towels. She's so smart. She absorbs everything. Cousin Cardboard. Boy, is he stiff. If you were a box, you'd be a little square yourself. <laughs> 
I didn't know a board game was made of paper. Can you believe it? Some of the stiffest paper has the most fun. But here's my favorite member of the paper family, money. <laughs> but that's just pretend money. Yeah, but here's the real thing, the wealthy side of the paper family. Wow, look at all those dollar bills. <laughs> yeah, they get to travel and meet people. They're lucky. Sure, but under all that green, they're just paper like the rest of us. No matter how you cut it, our paper family sure gets around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bud. I know you don't want to stay in the portable bathroom all day. Give me one more guess on the kind of paper you need. I know I'll get it. I need toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper? Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, maybe, maybe Crink has some extra. I'll go get a roll. Speaking of rolls, you can do a lot more to paper than just roll it. I made a whole movie all about the zillion things you can do to paper. Roll it. Why Paper is So Great, in which I will demonstrate all the things you can do to paper in under one minute. I can fold it, rip it, cut it, crumple it, and even throw it. I can draw on it, paint on it, shape it, tape it, Drape it. Nice hat. I can strip it, soak it, glue it and mold it, stack it, bind it, flip it and fan it. Phew! I can't believe I did that. <sighs> okay, I need a new notebook and... What was the other thing I needed? I know it was something made of paper. Paper cups, paper towels, paper plates. I know it was important. Oh well, whatever it was, I know I was on my way to Crink's to see if he had some. Huh. What am I gonna put these old magazines and newspapers in? Hmm. Hey, Crink. Hi, Celia. What are you doing? I'm gathering my old magazines and newspapers so they can be recycled in the new paper. But I need a cardboard box to put them in. You're recycling these great old magazines? Treehouse and Garden. Uh, yep. <laughs> the Weekly Cedar. Uh-huh. Vanity Bear. How can you get rid of these? I figure if I can recycle my old magazines, maybe I can save a tree. Wow, you're right. <sighs> magazines are made of paper and paper comes from trees. That's right. Now watch this. Nice trees. Actually, this is a tree farm where trees are especially grown to be made into paper and other products. Hey, they're cutting it down. Yeah, you got to chop wood to make paper. Timber! <laughs> Ooh. Now they look like huge pickup sticks. Mm -hmm. yeah, those logs get loaded on trucks. And then they go to the paper mill, right? Right. At the paper mill, all the bark gets stripped off the logs. It looks like they're getting a bath. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. The logs need to be as clean as possible. Then they're fed into a huge machine that cuts them up into little chips. <laughs> they look like potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but you wouldn't want to eat them. The wood chips get mixed with chemicals that turn them into a soupy goop called wood pulp. Then the pulp is squished flat, dried on a machine, and made into paper. Wow. I've never seen a roll of paper that big. <laughs> yep. These big rolls get cut into lots of small rolls. Then they send them to factories, where they're made into all kinds of paper things. So all paper comes from wood? Well, most of it comes from wood. But sometimes paper is made from other things. Like what? Well, it's made from a few things uh, that would really surprise you. <laughs> uh, do you want to know more? I always want to know more. Then just step out there. 
and take this bag. It's filled with things to make paper with. See ya. Bye. Bye, Celia. Well, this is definitely paper, but it's not like any paper I've seen before. This has colors in it and things you can feel. I don't know, maybe there's no wood in here after all. Actually, none of those papers are made out of wood. Hi, Paul. Hi, Celia. This is Paul Wong, and he's a paper maker. You know Paul. Crink gave me this bag, and he uh -huh. told me that there's all sorts of things inside that I can make paper with. Hey, look at that. There's all sorts of things in here. <laughs> this looks like a whole raggedy sweater. I can't make paper out of this. Oh, sure you can. Blue jeans? Mm-hmm. I can make paper out of all of these things? Absolutely. So now we have to cut these things up, right? Yep. Yeah, I, this denim is really hard to cut up, so I, I have to use a fabric cutter. You know, uh -huh. as I'm cutting this, I can see even this sweater has threads, right? Fibers? Well, clothes are made up of tiny little threads that are all woven together. Now, um, I'm going to work with this rope. Uh -huh. Oh, I can see these fibers are breaking apart right away. See that? Never cut yeah. it better before. I still can't imagine how this is going to turn into paper. This is the beater. Oh, and it's going to mash all of this into pulp. That's right. Let's turn it on. So the beater is mixing water with pieces of the sweater, rope, feathers, and blue jeans. We want to stir it up now. Oh, yes, we want to do that. This is so goopy, soupy, wow. I saw something like this with the wood pulp, too. Now, this soup is actually going to be paper. That's right. H how is that going to happen? Well, first you need to get a screen. Mm -hmm. And we're going to dip the screen into the vat of pulp and collect a very thin layer on top. Okay. So let's try it. OK. Shake it a little bit. Right. Hey, I can see the water's coming through right here. Yeah. Great. So now after the water's drained out, mm -hmm. we can take the frame off. That's the and top you can part. See, and you can see the edge of the sheet. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now, have people been making paper like this for a long time? Oh, definitely. Um, people have been making paper by hand for a very long time. Okay, what's next? Now we come over to this felt material, mm -hmm. and we want to cooch the sheet. We want to what? Uh, well, we want to <laughs> flip the screen over and press it against the felt, and that's called cooching. Oh, I like that word. And the sheet comes right off. Look at that. Okay, I'm cooching next. Here we go. <gasps> you did it. Look at that. Now that almost looks like a sheet of paper. Yeah, it's almost. The neat thing about making paper this way is that you can add color to the pulp. Oh, so the color becomes part of the paper. That's right. OK, um, yeah. So let's paint with it. You know, Paul, this paper yeah. still seems pretty wet. How are we going to get this water out? Well, we're going to stick the stack of sheets into the press. Oh, OK. But let's cover it up with this felt. Oh, all right. Here. Thanks. So we put it in the press, and that gets the water out? That's right. And it also squeezes the fibers together. Ah. Oh. oh, I see. These two parts are going to come together. Uh-huh. Exactly. Wow, look at all the water coming out. Okay. There 
Here's the paper. Can yeah. I um, lift yeah, it up? Yeah, we can peel it up. Wow. Look at that. A sheet of paper. And it's made from blue jeans and sweaters and feathers and all that. It's amazing. All those fibers make up this paper. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Paul. I'll never look at my blue jeans the same way again. <laughs> One of the best things to make new paper from is old paper. Now when we take something that's already been used and we turn it into something new, it's called recycling. Newspaper recycling begins at home, when old newspapers are tossed into the recycling bin. Then they're picked up by special trucks, like this one. The newspapers are unloaded at a recycling center. Wow! Look at all that paper! Truckloads of paper are hauled to a mill, where it will be recycled into new paper. Whoa! Look how they lift up that truck in the air and they pour out the paper. Pretty amazing! Once inside the mill, the paper is mashed with giant blenders into a thick pulp. After that, the paper gets cleaned in a machine where all the ink gets washed away. This clean pulp gets pressed and dried and comes out as recycled paper. Lots of things you use are made of recycled paper. There's cardboard boxes napkins and notebooks, grocery bags, egg cartons, and toilet paper. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Did I just mention cardboard boxes, toilet paper, and notebooks? Those are the things I'm looking for. <laughs> All right. One cardboard box for Crink to put his magazines in. Oh. Whoa. Bud will be glad to see this. Hooray! A new notebook for me. Well, you take a piece of paper and you crease it in the middle, fold it once or twice, then you give it just a little, push in the air, and what do you know? You got yourself a paper plane, look at it go! Paper! It's a wrap! and paper plates, paper dolls and paper weights, paper products by the dozen, but paper weights, well that one was a paper. It's a wrap. Look at the paper. It's a wrap. Well, look at that paper hat. And look at that paper money. Look at that paper costume. You look so funny. And if you hit it right, you know that you can get a lot of Toys and candy from our paper pinata. You need paper if you're gonna write a letter to a friend. And if you wanna draw a picture, paper once again. You got computer paper, toilet paper, paper mache, and all the newspapers people read every day. Paper, it's a wrap. I brought back that big cardboard box you needed. Oh, uh, thanks, Celia. But I don't think one's gonna do it. Where'd you get all these? Well, once I started thinking about recycling, I decided there were lots of other magazines and newspapers I didn't need anymore. Seems to me I've got some others tucked away somewhere. Crink, don't you have something else you need to do right about now? Something else to do? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're right, the workshop. I have some important people I need to talk to about paper. And speaking of paper, while I'm gone, could you give me a hand putting those in the box? It's kind of urgent. They're coming tomorrow to pick up for recycling. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, oops, uh, 
Maybe later. I think Bud has his own urgent paper needs right about now. <laughs> yeah. See ya. All right, bye bye. Mm to doom 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 to doom 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 doom. I'll bet my friend Whitney has an interesting project with paper. Let me ask you. Oh, hi, Whitney. What you doing? I'm making paper today. Yeah? Out of what? Well, here are my ingredients. This is nose paper. Mm -hmm. This is the colored construction paper, red. And this is blue. Mm -hmm. And my carrots so I can mix into the blender. Carrots? And I thought they were just for eating. <laughs> so now what you doing? Put in a half a cup of newspaper and carrots so I can mix it in. Oh, yes. Ooh. Okay. Now I put the newspaper and all the other ingredients into the blender. I see? Then I put the cap on and mix it. How long do you do that for? Till it's all smooth and all the ingredients are mixed together. Oh, you made pulp. Now I take the blender over to the pan mm -hmm. and I put some water into Oh, why is that screen in there? This is a screen. So all when when I put the pulp in, yeah. all the water can come out. Oh, gee. And I put about a half of the pulp into the pan. Oh, you pour it right on the screen. Uh, what do you do then, Whitney? Then I spread it around. So now I take the paper. Yeah. Let all the water dry out of it. Then put the paper on here. Uh -huh. Fold the newspaper like that. Yeah. Flip it over. Uh -huh. And roll it a few times so the water can come out. I get it. The newspaper soaks up the water. Then I peel the screening off of it. I put the screening over there. I take some new newspaper. Okay. I put it flat on here. Then I take the rolling pin and roll it over a few times. Oh, so you're really flattening out the pulp. I see. Then I'll take the wet newspaper off and then you have yourself paper. Look at that. Do you have to let it dry out? Yeah, you have to let it dry for three or four days. Oh, what does it look like when it's dry? It looks like this. Oh, my gosh. You made that? Yes. What did you use to make that? I made this out of carrots and some blue, and some blue construction paper. Oh, that's neat. Show me some more. This kind of looks like if you're buying ice cream, uh -huh. and the little dots, it looks like strawberry. Oh, looks beautiful. What did you use to make it? Some red construction paper, uh -huh. and a little dots of red construction paper in the middle. Oh, it's just amazing what you can make paper out of. Thanks for showing me, Whitney. Bye, Crinkaroo. Bye. <laughs> Are you Bud, are you still in there? Of course I am. Oh, I finally found the paper you need. I would have gotten here sooner, but I kept running into all this incredible paper, and I just kind of got on a roll. Get it? I, on a roll? <laughs> oh. Here. Sorry it took so long. You're sorry. What about us?
paper can be recycled to make lots of different things. My friend Eric used some paper products from around the house to make his own toy truck. <laughs> Here's how. I used old bits of paper from already used materials and put them together. Well, the idea just hit me on the head. First of all, the body is was an, an empty orange juice carton and I covered it in origami paper to make it look better. And the wheels, I used empty toilet paper rolls. I used one toilet paper roll for a sort of chimney. And the smoke I made um, out of a paper towel and glitter. I used black paper and covered the opening. You could reuse something that you already used. If you want to make your own toy truck or anything else out of paper, here are some things that will help. Milk or juice cartons, empty paper towel or toilet paper rolls, colored construction paper, crayons, glue, and glitter. And remember, the best place to learn about nature is right outside your door. Because when you're outside, you're on your own backyard safari. Bye-bye! Safari is a production of Lancet Media Entertainment and is produced in association with the American Museum of Natural History. This episode of Backyard Safari is made possible by a major grant from the National Science Foundation, America's Investment in the Future.